Ah, good day, viewers. Well, I score one of these short strike um, high pressure water pumps. <laughs> Runs okay, actually. This one's a bit noisy, but after I work on that, get to the bearings and regrease it. I'll start it up. It's not quite a pressure washer motor, but it is it's a similar principle. Except it is a piston, it is a diaphragm. Like a, hot, like a pressure washer, it doesn't have suction. You have to give it suction or gravity feed from the water tank. Pressure there. Oh, the hell's with the pressure. Oh, the pressure, look at that. Oh, that's water go both ways. But I kick the hose, it doesn't blow the hose off. Yeah, I'm going to quite blow the hose off. That's a pressure, I can't hold that. This would be great for hydrostatic bottle pops. It's great for hydrostatic bottle popping. Settle in. Very short stroke, and that gives it more wedging power to push water at high pressure. That means it pumps in there, it's in good condition with that, no leaks. Now, in here, there should be some check valves. So, that's definitely the discharge I've got the input there. So, if I pull these off, have a good look inside how that all works. I wonder if there's any adjustment in there. Let's have a look. If you always hear the uh, discharge side, that valve and seat looks really good. Just a little check valve, stainless steel there. And that seat and valve there looks really good. I have got a tap, a, um, as in one of these uh, taps, a reseater kit, which you go in there and I could redo those seats if I really wanted to, but these seats look okay anyway. Should they be bad and start leaking, I've got the reset kit. But I can't take much off that at all, because it's a different sort of a seat. It's a raised uh, edge with, a, with these sorts of taps. The seat in these is a flat edge where the washer sits on. This one here uses a, a raised up edge on an angle sort of thing. So, different sort of a system here. As I said, if the zoo were pitted, I would have to take a very little amount off of that set that I got. But that looked okay. Still, the stainless still looks very good. It just sits on there, so it's discharged, as I said. And that's your input. Hence, when I squeeze the hose, it didn't blow the hose off of pressure, which means the seats are good. <laughs> Look really good, anyway. Not bad. This is all a good nick, you see. Um, Ed Aussie 50 has got one of these. He's to, um, to blow your uh, hydrostatic tyre pops and bottle pops. Clinton from Clinton's shed got one of these too, and I thought, well, hmm. They might have been common back then. They look kind of cool, but I was one of them. And finally, I found one that came from a, uh, a garage sale for five bucks. So, okay. That's good for five bucks, I'll take it. <laughs> Black didn't even know what it was. He had all these old generators, a list of generators and everything. And there were a couple of old fans in the 1920s, but they were a bit too rough. And he went a little bit too much for them, so... Actually, he had one fan from the 20s, he wanted too much for Actually, the rest were from the uh, 50s and 60s. But yeah, he's into his old engines and stuff. Um, he still didn't know what this was. It's got a couple of old 32 volt and uh, 60 volt DC generators. A couple of nice old DC motors too. But I see in this and he didn't even know what it was. He thought it was an air compressor. But I explained to him what it was and what it was originally used for. So I thought, okay, you're the only bloke that knew what that was. So I got a bargain for it. No one else was going to buy it, so it was only going to go on a scrap bin. So I'm not going to let that happen. This is just, we're coming quite useful for little things. 
hydrostatic pressure tests would be great for that. I can't even come up with a um, pressure washer lance. Something like that. But this is a similar principle, but um, it just moves more quicker and having three pistons instead of a diaphragm that actually hits the water hard and the swash plate mechanism in there. Having three of them has a consistent flow. So it's not like that where it just, it's um, intermittently flowed. This is a, this is just a similar thing, but for an old, would have been used for an old steam boiler or something like that, where it could um, supply pressure into a system, but at low volumes of water at a time. Little things like that it would have been used for in the old days. I don't know what the manufacturer, can't see no manufacturing any markings on it though. It's got this one, A or H50, whatever that is. Can't read it properly. I've had to make one repair, get this nut off and clean it so it, was all, it wasn't screwed on when I got it. It was loose, so I fixed that. Haven't got the right bloody size tools for that. It's just a bit noisy. Take that off and unscrew that. There might be a bearing in there I can stuff for the grease. I might even try that just to make sure it's not going to go bad on me. Just a bit of maintenance on it. Now, there's no hole down there, so I think that would have uh, optional, would have been optional pressure gauge or something. I just got to find a good fitting to go on there to do a pressure test pop. I wonder what I can screw on there. Have I got any Coke bottles in the recycling bin? Hmm. Nope. No, I'll we'll have to find out some sort of a fitting and score a cake bottle on that to get it full of water with no air in the system. It'd be pretty loud if it was air in the system, it'd be big bang. But if I find a fitting on there to score a cake bottle on tightly full of water with no air in the system, this would push enough pressure to blow the bottle up with just hydro hydraulic pressure or hydrostatic pressure. So something like this could also be used to um, pressure test one of these or a gas bottle. I could put, hook it up to that. It's pressure test set and they'll probably pop the bottom off or where it finds a weak spot. So you can do all sorts of cool things like that with it. You can also have it just pump in water at an engine show. So if I take this set up to an engine show or an old like uh, the old engine shows or the engine collectors show off their stash, the motor would be the exception because it's modern, but this will look cool just pumping water in a little tank and circulating it. Some people have them on old villiers or diesel or something like that, old, old engines. What I have. I've always, yeah, as I said, I wanted to find something like this. I still get to fix that. The um, I'm gonna make a plate to fix that pulley to go back on that and fix up the leak too. Just still leaks bloody oil. I don't want it to leak. It was run dry, so I, I sort of I'm kind of shelving it for now because it leaks all the oil on that and this runs dry. Can't have that. This works all right. Just make sure those little uh, check valves are tight. I want to test it again. That yeah, looks good. Tripod shot. Now I just tuck the water. Turn the water on. This is turned the water bottom back. Pressure was really. Uh, turn it a little bit. Should be enough, but not that. That'd be plenty. Just for low volume. This, this, this thing is built to work and push with pressure hydraulically. Basically, it's a hydraulic pump, pump for water, but not quite the same as a, uh, your pressure washer would work. This just uses a diaphragm.
just a bit noisy, that's the only thing. A bit noisy, I'll have to f fix that. But it works quite well. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.